Just a little thrust testing fun. <laughs> Let's see if we can get vertical. <laughs> that was fun. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, why is he yes on top? Well, it's not supposed to be. I just haven't put it on the inside yet. Um, I may have to run some wire extensions. I'm, I'm. This motor wants. They're. It's calling for a 120 amp ESE, but I'm not pulling. Um, even close to that. I think it was 60. Or something like that. Um, at full throttle with the Avian. And I don't necessarily trust the Avians. Because this one's only 100. And, and since it calls for 120, the one thing I don't want to do is run a 120. Or a 100 Avian. Because we saw on one of my previous videos where the Avian 150 that I had literally just exploded. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm curious to see how much flight time I get out of uh, 2200 milliamp. I can get a longer pack and probably get like a 3000 or a 3200. It'll fit in there. And that's what I made it for. <laughs> and, and actually a slightly bigger battery would give me a better CG. Because the CG is about right here with the gear in it. And I want to kind of move it up a little bit. So a slightly longer one. Maybe a 3000 or 3500 somewhere around there. Higher discharge rate on the C rating, probably 100. I'll probably go for that. And then we'll have the 120 amp ESC. That's not an Avian because the Avians, although they are good ESCs, um, they randomly explode. Could be me, could be them. I don't know. I don't build them. So, um, yeah, close to a flight.